welcome to Introduction to SolidWorks. This will be presented by Kyle Rothmer and Joshua Erickson. This is a picture from SolidWorks. As you can see, it is very complicated. There's lots of pieces, and there's lots of moving parts. Um, today, we are going to be showing you some basics of SolidWorks, such as going from a 2D part to a 3D part, extruding, and shelling. To start off, we'll show you how to open SolidWorks. In this particular lab, Russell 104, Start, Programs, BCM, SolidWorks 2007, Surface Pack 4, SolidWorks 2007, Surface Pack 4. Once SolidWorks has loaded, it'll look like this. To begin, you're going to want to go to Online Tutorials, Lesson 1, Parts. And this is the part that we will be showing you how to make today. Now that you have the online tutorial open, go to New, and then Part. This opens your basic crafting area. I'm going to be removing the tutorial, but when, if you were to do this, you can switch back and forth between the tutorial and SolidWorks, but I won't need that now. To begin, you're going to click on Sketch, Rectangle, and you want to be in the front view. Click at the center point and create a box. Next, you're going to dimension the box. And you want it to be 120 millimeters by 120 millimeters. And there's your box. Next, you're going to extrude. Extrude boss slash base. This will bring the face out towards you and make the three-dimensional box. You're going to want to dimension. You want you want to extrude that 30 millimeters. As you can see, it increased once I changed the dimension, and then you're going to click OK. Now you have your 3D-dimensional box. Next, we're going to extrude a hole out from the face of it. So you click on Sketch again, Circle. And then you're going to want to click the face that you're going to sketch on. And then you're going to draw your circle. Next, you want the circle to be in the middle of the box. Smart dimension. Click on the center. And click on one side of that area. You want it to be 60. by 60. Now it's in the center. You also want the dimension of the hole to be 70. Next, we'll extrude it. Features, extrude, and it selects it for you, but if it doesn't select it, select the circle. And we'll go 30 again. create a hole. Next, we're going to cut a hole through the piece. Sketch again, click on the circle, click on circle. You can find the center point by highlighting the circle. As you can see, the black circle showed up. Click on the black circle and create your circle. Dimension it. As you can see, there's your next circle. Then you're going to want to cut the hole through it. Features, extrude cut. Now it's going to cut through the piece. But you want it to go all the way through the piece. 
to select true off. And I'll cut the hole all the way through the piece. As you can see, there's not a hole cut through the piece. Next, we're going to round the corners. We fill it. And you're going to want to click on this edge, this edge, this one, and then this hidden one in the back. You want that to be 10 millimeters. As you can see, it, if you click full preview, it shows you what it's going to do. And you click OK. Now you need to create a radius on that. Next, we're going to put a radius on this. Fill it. Face fill it. Select this face. And you want that to be 5. Actually, you want it to be a constant radius. So it'll radius all of these, everything that you have selected, because you selected the face, click OK, and it fills all the connecting lines on that face. Next we'll fill up this, fill it, you can select the face, but you want it to be 1.5. Now you Put a radius on that. Last, we're going to shell the piece, which means take all this extra material that isn't needed out. Put shell. Click on that face. We want it to be two. Show preview. Click OK. As you can see, it removed all that excess material and now it's hollow inside. And there is your finished product. As you can see, we have created a very simple part today. And as we showed you in the beginning, you can create much greater detailed parts than just this. If you would like to know more, you can visit the online tutorial that SolidWorks provides for you.